this mass shooting, only to come face to face with another gunman in his own driveway. For the first time, we're seeing surveillance video of that terrifying encounter. NBC 4's Tony Shin is live in Menifee now, where he spoke to the victim. Tony. Yeah, talk about a frightening experience. Carolyn, let me go ahead and show you and our viewers exactly what happened. The victim was parked here right in his driveway. He thought he was safe because he also has surveillance cameras above his garage. He now says, never let your guard down. It's about 1015 at night and a young man we're only identifying as Jacob for safety reasons is parked in his parents' driveway. Suddenly, a man walks behind his car. The man stops at a nearby mailbox and turns around. He then heads straight towards Jacob. Uh, someone knocks my window, so uh, I just roll it down a little bit because I, I don't know who it is. Um, he asked to use my phone. Jacob is surprised and suspicious. He said he needed to call his mom. He didn't have a phone. So I was thinking about it, I was a little hesitant. He decides to get out of his car to let the man use his phone. Just in case if he tries to run, then I, I could, you know, chase him. But the man suddenly pulls out a shotgun. I, I see him start raising the, the gun. And then right once I see it, I smack the gun down really quick. And I'm like, what the are you doing? Stunned, the man backs off for a moment as Jacob scrambles to get back into his car. And he, like, aims the gun back up at me again. Fortunately, the armed man doesn't fire a shot and instead runs off. Jacob believes he got into this white car that drove by earlier and parked around the corner just seconds before the confrontation. I'm usually pretty prepared and I'm usually always looking around, checking my surroundings and stuff like that. Jacob says he's always been careful and even more so after 2017 when he and his sister escaped the gunfire in the Las Vegas mass shooting. Jacob's mother can't believe his life was once again in danger. And like every mother, that's our worst nightmare. We would never want anything to happen to our children. Jacob says he learned that no matter where you are, you have to be ready for the unthinkable, even in your own driveway. Uh, you can never be too cautious. You can never be too, too safe.